through the doors of famous celebrities, an organizer for the stars, like Jennifer Tilly, Marsha Cross, and Felicity Huffman. Jill Pollock is a Connecticut girl who's now the host of a new HGTV show called Consumed. Her mission is to help people own their stuff so it doesn't own you. She's here to help us stop the madness and get organized for the holidays. Jill Pollock, everyone, welcome back hi, home. Hi, wow. hi, thank, thank you. you. Old friend of Dennis, back when you were I here. I know. And now he ran into you again. You've come home yep. and you've got your little back one Back from home. the coast, yeah. Mom, of how old is your son? Uh, Sam's almost three. Almost three, right, right. I know they're about the same yeah. age. So I am envious of you because your life is very organized and you don't have clutter and yeah. I don't know how that's possible, but you're actually showing us how to get yes. that. Uh, for the holidays and not spend a lot of money and be green too. Exactly. Well, first of all, we all have clutter. It's about getting rid of it right. on a regular basis. It's like working out. If you want to be organized and you want to be clutter free, you just kind of have to keep doing it like working out if you want to be fit. But okay. For the holidays, it's really stressful. It's a particularly stressful time. Everyone's like cluttered in their head and they have too much to do. And the problem is everyone is giving stuff to you, whether you want it or don't need it. And everyone's kind of like and you get more clutter. Right. Spending time on stuff. So here's some good tips on how to declutter, de-stress, and give something that means something, you know? So um, these are this is a great idea. So one thing is, I don't happen to cook very well, but a lot of people keep recipes and they tear out recipes, yes. um, and they mean to cook, right? Right. So um, Avery uh, does this great thing where you can do um, your own binders, right? So uh, you can make your own binder. It's a Zazzle binder. You go on Avery.com and you can personalize your own binder to cut, take all your recipes that you're not using that you think someone else might use, And right? that's easy to put in, like mine are all loose leaf and... Exactly. And that's so cool, you can see how it says Jill's recipes. So you just go online to Avery.com and yep. do that? Yep. And uh, so this is a good way to declutter your recipes, pass it on to someone who will use it. Another way to declutter and gift at the same time is, you know, do you have ice? I still have a bin of old hard, you know, photos, right? Oh, I have lots of those all around. And it's the you never, never know what to do with them. I know. Them. So here's a good way, something you can organize yourself. Uh, put all the old photos in an album and give it to, let's say, that holiday that you went on, right? So right. here, give it to Aunt Sue and, you know, here's that holiday. She doesn't have to do the photos. Pass it on, declutter yourself, make a photo album. Go through, go down memory lane while you're doing it. And this is okay. This would be a nice gift, especially for a grandparent. Especially for a grandparent. And the thing is, right. We all talk about how it's the thought that counts, but really nowadays, it really is. People just throwing money at something, it really should mean something. And when it comes from you in a personal way, that's really nice, I think. Now, if you people never say no to money, so this is a way. I, I'm getting into the gift card idea. I thought it was impersonal, but I know that I love it and other people love it. And it, it, no clutter. It's so good because, you know, it's not the right size. Think of all the gas you waste going back and forth to the store. They have to go and return it. And by the time they return it, it's on sale. It's This is really, you can, I have a change purse of gift cards that I, you know, I feel like I shop for free all the time because right. I just sort of have this and, oh, I happen to be at this store and I can buy things. And that's a lovely way. Plus also, not only gift cards, which is, but people are doing all kinds of charitable things. Like you can plant a tree in someone's name. You can give them stock shares, which is a right. great gift idea, I think. Thing. And charity. Another thing I love is uh, jewelry for a cause. So if you if you have a problem of not giving something, you know you don't want you want to give something tangible. This is a great uh, company, jewelryforacause.net. They this actually is they they sell beautiful jewelry and they donate part of the proceeds to different charities. And they're beautiful. These are trees, so that could be for whatever the Sierra Club or whatever you exactly. want to do. Jewelry for exactly. a cause. Exactly. That's great. Regifting. Hold on. <laughs> Regifting. I just have to say that gives such a bad name. Everyone thinks the Seinfeld regift. It's. I think that's wrong. I mean, regifting is cool. It's got regifts to me every year. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell that's them that that's cool, okay. Man. <laughs> <laughs> These men's pants. I think you like them. They're dead guys. No, but listen. You get stuff all the time, right? That you that are nice, but you're never gonna wear. Like I'm just. I'm not gonna wear this. But I don't know. Maybe you'd like it. <laughs> oh, actually, I think it's kind of pretty. Right. It's pretty. But so it's not for me and I know I'll never wear it. Let's be realistic, but right. it's a nice item, so re-gift. And I know we're running out of time, but keep those re-gifts and items and the hostess gifts hostess all in gifts. one place in a closet where so you can just run out, get them, and you look like you're so organized. Exactly, and don't forget to put a label. Uh, Avery label have great label pads. Put it on the gift so you know who gave it to you.
to you so you don't regift it to the person who gave it to you in the first place. It's okay to just yeah, it's okay to just write happy holidays. This is good on a wine bottle. Look, this is cute. Whether uh, these are all very like grandparenting gifts, but that's cute. A wine bottle you can do a professional printing and give it. That's nice. I love it. I can do it on the way out the door. Thank clear, you. clear all your clutter out of your <laughs> kitchen cabinet. Jill Pollock, thank you so much. And Thanks Scott, everything is fine to regift except to me. I th is that, is that, that's maple syrup? <laughs> yes. Oh, it looks so good. Delicious. I love, mm. Organic.